Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to more store. Uh, we are here in Zerbike Way and the truck we have is Pacific P16. The specific reason for this is that we want to go all the way here to this, enter here, then go back to this, then go here, follow this, follow that. This probably will fuel here, then somehow get here, continue this way, follow this road all the way here, then take this road, go this way, uh, this way, and then end up here. So, in the ruins of form of glory is the contract that you want to take. Four vehicle spare parts and four service spare parts is what is required. So we have this, and we have our cut out for us. Let's hope that this decision was proper. So the reason we opted for this now instead of uh, the other heavies that we were driving around is simply for the sake of variety. I do know that at the end the death mark is going to be a problem for this one because of the front wheels getting stuck in the mud. But hopefully we've crossed that and there are multiple winch points. So I am hoping that we will just winch it. And that's that. We will soon find out what we have bargained for. As you can see, traction wise, I have no problem. Look at the eight wheels driving. I still have traction. Yes, I did get damage. And then we are going to go to the service bay where we have to get the vehicle spare parts. So hopefully, we have to get it right there. If I don't damage it beyond, you know, driving mode. There is the pickup point. We are going to keep this in auto or high. Oh no, I think auto would be good for this one. Now, yes, I have driven it through terrible terrain, even worse than this. And And despite the fact that the front wheel do not have drive, the rear wheels, the rear wheels have enough power to push it through. Because of the eight wheels driving on the back of the cab, it's almost eight by eight. And because of the diffs being locked, all of those eight wheels are turning in. Uh, in unity, making it as if there's one giant wheel. Yeah, so, stuff like this may happen. But as you can see with the trail, is perfectly capable of driving through this type of train, even if it's not all wheel drive. Fuel consumption, yes, on the higher side, but then again, we have a fuel station along the way, so I think we should be alright.
I'm just spitting rocks. What am I stuck on? Have I not done this before? I have, right? I did take the camera to the exact same route, right? So what's the problem? Okay. Something is different. Okay, whatever it was, it was just a temporary hurdle. I don't even think it was a hurdle, it was just something getting stuck in something. Never mind that. Come on then, 60 litres of fuel, are we gone? The good thing is that along the route there are multiple trees everywhere, so you know uh, the chance of getting stuck is slim. The chance of tipping over, however, are more than the chance of getting stuck. But then again, the real challenge is because of the rear wheel drive only. But as you can see, so far, uh, I mean, it does perform right, it is taking damage. Yeah, nothing unreadable. Nothing too crazy. Of course, a rear wheel drive only truck is going to perform very different than all wheel drive trucks so yes it will get stuck in one or two places but apart from that i don't think there is an issue with this one Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, four out of eight. And I love that horn. Canadian style. Okay, so there is a way which goes from here. But I don't know where it goes, so I'm not going to risk it. That is four slots of cargo. Now on to the other four. Also when the P16 is loaded, it tends to drive better because uh, the weight of the trailer adds more grip to the tires in the truck.
the only problem is if I lose grip on the rear tires and even if my front tires are in contact with the ground they do not have any drive you see so that is why I am stuck and stuff like that doesn't help so if I cannot winch it forward then that's that that's the end of it All I have to do is just winch it forward and that's it, I'm back on track. Oops. This I did not see coming. Okay, so we may we have to make haste now. Suspension is gone. The truck is gone. One eighty two liters of fuel remaining, it is now a race against time. Even with the broken suspension, I think I have enough power. And if the terrain would let me go, I will just go. Yes, we spin on. Come on, one fifty five. It is now the power of the truck against everything else. I cannot afford this. I am twenty six liters. Come on. So it looks like we are going to be stuck here. Come on, come on, come on. Don't embarrass me like this. Look at that, this is deliberate. This has the perfect capability to pass this. And I 
too many bloody prompts to get enough before we can continue. I'm not giving up. Seven, six, five, okay. So what do we have nearby? Hello boss. So now we repair first of all gas suspension and then we all so I do not have wheel. Concrete gas supplies doesn't need really wheel. Okay, never mind. So then I'm gonna go here uh refuel. And then there's six gonna be three hundred liters to this and then get out of the way. So then we go here again to the sixteen and uh, we will deal with this tire problem later. I do not even I do not know which tire is bust. If it's one of the front ones then I don't care. What we have to do now is use the garage where the use of Statra is and then that can give us another tire. And you can see I am like in action. Nothing really to it. It is just a snow runner having a laugh. I would put repair points on this truck if I could. Here, there is a lot of space here. Okay, so I think it's there. There's a front tire that is busted. Okay. All ahead, full. I wish there was a way to, uh, you know, to repair this so that at least my box can go. Look at the grip on this one, just love it. best rear wheel drive only truck I have. I have actually delivered a construction rig heavy trailer with this one. I think it was in, uh, in Michigan or somewhere. But yeah, the rear wheel drive only truck delivering a construction rig trailer. That was something. Early days. Snow on a novice. Now? Now I don't care. I have so many trucks. I've mastered every terrain. I mean, I can just go go ahead and play the Cola Peninsula all over again. I don't care. Yeah, so my speed is limited because of my busted tire. The tire that I'm going to repair now. And then the second hurdle will be to get into uh, the narrow space where the, the vehicle spare part is. It's either the vehicle spare part or the solar spare part. Whichever we have, it's the other one. Okay, so uh, change truck to this idiot. 
Change to this again. We are sorted. Thank you so much. Now the journey is on tarmac. <sighs> Should be better than the half of the trip. Yes, I'm gonna get stuck in the mud at the very end. Yes, I know. I don't know where. from that I think we should be all right uh -huh, what going on here some recovery mission what's here This is the fastest I can go. Seems like so. Okay. Now as and when I'm nearing the village, I have to see if I can get in where the broken that thing is where the broken road is. I think it's this one. The bigger point is gone all the way there. Okay, so it's after the turn. This one. Get few fifty-five. I think I'll take it. You never know. Maybe this 55 liter will help me ahead. Now, there is the pickup point, and everything else is just uh, narrow. Okay, so how do I get into here? Trailer is too long, that I know. Nicely placed. Okay, so now that we know what the problem is, 
I can actually go like that and then go like that, but then my trailer won't be able to turn. Okay. Let's try to get it. I can't. So we'll have to try the other way. Let's just often see how is it possible. So if I can go here and then I can go and then go back. So I do not need this. And then this is how we're gonna do it. This is how we do it. Because I want to get this done in one go. That is why I have opted for this stupid 8x8, eight eight. otherwise I could have easily done this with a 4x4. Four four. So if I want to go in here, there's absolutely no way this trailer is turning, right? Is complete. Okay, cargo wagon, and we have vehicles that are in Okay, that is done. Now, all I want to do now is for the stupid trailer to turn so that I can get out of here. There you go, and I will leave my truck. Thank you. Yes, this is what I wanted to do in the first place. Thank you so very much. Now we can worry about the death mug. It's been a while, and I think it's been what? 30 minutes? Yeah. Now I know the road. I do not care about the market, but I do think that the market is pointing me in the right direction. The good thing is that these tires perform good on uh, road and they perform excellent in mud and excellent off road. So And then there's this bit as well. The absolute bit. Not that I've not driven an 8 slot here before. I have. 
so I know that this can turn. Yeah, whatever. Give me damage because I'm doing this so good. Okay. So our life of ease is coming to an end. And now we go off road and then into the death mark. There we go. Almost as good as a four wheel drive truck. I mean, whatever, six by six, eight by eight. Yeah, good. Now, I want to stop here first and switch to afternoon so the light is proper and then tackle this. Death mod, here we are. Okay. Am I moving? Slowly, but yes. So yeah, then I don't care. Okay, now so... Look at this, look at this. something stuck but thank god there are two lynch points so uh, we need not worry thank you so much on to death mod number two And then you go low again. Is there progress? There is progress, yes. Imagine if they would give us an add-on for an all-wheel drive E16, E12, what is this one, E16, imagine that, this would be a power, it is actually already a power house, okay, yeah, pull me out. And then last one. If I hadn't recovered the Zix from here, from the earlier mission, which was exactly the Zix that rescued this truck, by the way, then I would have uh, in my care to help with this dead mud situation. Thankfully, these winch points are going to help us. Now the good thing about SnowRunner is that it doesn't matter if it's a fallen tree, it's a branch or it's a twig. If you attach to it, 
it has the power to pull hundreds and thousands of tons. So yeah, this is the falling branch. It is quite capable of rescuing a truck such huge with full capacity. I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> The game is definitely performing better. So the recording software that was eating up too much memory. And yes, do not forget that the way forward is blocked. So you want to turn like so. And then into death mode again. Go to low. This is not actually, this is not death mode, it's just mud. But if you go to low and control the tire spin, then grip will come. I wish there was a way to repair this bridge. And up we go. Do not worry about it. It will help. No, I want to reach it there. Okay. I'm going to do it myself. Oh, I can't reach it. And there you go, we've done it. Get out of the low, no need for it, no more. And then just in the ruins of former glory. That's come to an end finally. <sighs> Almost an hour for this one. And the loafer is in the middle, the last thing I need. This is the sound of victory. Cargo management 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's it. In the ruins of form of glory. Alright, everything is running like a Swiss watch now. Man, I'd love to go to Switzerland somewhere. Then I go, they do even need to Alright, let's. Fire the plant up. Warehouse is now available. 800 for the board and almost 8,000 for the system, which is alright. Okay. So that's how you compete in the range of former glory. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like the content and video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I post new videos every day. You made this so much. I will see you in the next one.